Hi, Greg here. Today we're going to take a look at a Lego set from my collection back when I was younger. This is set 1720. It's the Cactus Canyon Value Pack. It originally came out in 1994. It's a total of 133 pieces and it retailed for $10. In my opinion, this was a great set back in the day. I guess you could call it a vintage set being that it's 20 years old, but it's just crazy for me to think of things like that because I grew up with a set. I guess it just means that I'm getting old. But the reason this set's so great is that it has so much playability. It's basically three sets in one. You got the kayaker, which you can see on the left, you've got a Jeep, and you've got an ATV. It comes with three minifigures and a ton of accessories, so you can do a whole bunch with this and do a whole lot of modifications and change things around, which I did a lot of when I was younger. I added things on, subtracted things. It was just a really fun set, so I'm really happy to share this with you today, and we'll take a little bit of a look at each one of the different pieces that comes with this. Here's the first build from the instruction manual. This is just a little simple kayak with a minifig included. I'll show you the kayak first so you can see how to build that. Real easy, just a couple pieces put together. And then the minifig, he has a red helmet on, and you can see his face there. He's got the blue sunglasses, and he's got the 5 o'clock shadow, nothing else going on. So, And then he's got the life jacket and he's got an oar. It's too bad they didn't give him like an official kayaking oar. This is just the standard one with one side, but that works. You know, this was 20 years ago. Take that out and we'll take his head off so you can see what his shirt looks like. He's got a green shirt on under that. And I have a couple of these guys that are like this, so I don't know if that was pretty common around the time, but when I was going through my stuff, I did have a couple of those, so it must be somewhat common from then. And uh, that's what he looks like with all of his gear put back on. So real simple build to start out with. Moving on to the next piece, this is the ATV with minifig. We'll look at the minifig first. He's probably the simplest of the minifigs that came with this set. As you can see, he's got plain white pants. He's got a plain black shirt and sunglasses on. He's got a blue hat. So he's, he's kind of generic, but he's got a walkie-talkie in his one hand. And then on his back, he's got a hiking sack. So he's ready to go camping or whatever these guys may be doing. Very basic, not a whole lot going on with him. The ATV kind of follows the same suit. Pretty simple. You got the fenders on the front and back, kind of curved here. You can see the lights in the front, and then it's either got a winch or a bumper on there. It's got the tires. These are the same tires that are on the Jeep. And then it's got a steering wheel, which I think is the weirdest design choice. It probably should have handlebars, but I don't know if that was in the mix back then. You can see it's got a few accessories. You got a bird on the back, which is kind of strange. And then it's got a pickaxe in the back and spot for other stuff. There's a shovel that comes with this set or you can put the ore in there as well to kind of travel with those. But a pretty simple build, but it does add a little bit to this set and I think it's nice to have it added in there. And here's the Jeep, or what I'm assuming to be a Jeep. This is a great addition to the set. As you can see, it's pretty squared off. You got the doors on the side. It's got some nice features on the front here. You got the flat headlights. It's got a grill. It's got a winch. On the top, you can see it has a rack as well as some off-roading lights. On the sides, there is a spot for a pickaxe and a shovel, or you can put pretty much anything in there. It's got the oversized tires. On the back, it's got the back door that, that raises up. You can put a minifig inside there, but you'd have to lay down. You can also open this up, so you can put some oversized things in there as well. It's got a yellow vent on the top there, and it's got an antenna on the side, probably for a CB or something that these guys are using. And then there's another spot for something else there. And... Uh, Everything's functional. It's got a white steering wheel and then there's a white piece in the back there as well. Pretty awesome Jeep. I really loved having this in the set back in the day. This was my favorite piece of this and it's just perfect. I love everything about it. So that's my review of LEGO set 1720, the Cactus Canyon value pack. Now this review is far from unbiased. I have a love for this set from playing with it back in the day. So take that for what it's worth. But if you do have the opportunity to pick this set up for a reasonable price, I would definitely get it. There's a lot of features to this that I think you'll really like. And it's just a really fun set. So I hope you found this informative and entertaining. Thanks for watching, and I'll have another video up here soon.